The first handicap of the week is next, the Red Rum Handicap Chase. It's a grade three over two miles. And Fuente Duomo at the top for Darren Thompson. San Pedro Tinker, Vinnie Gerard, Cuesta Cut for Martin Leadham. Gabriel's Rhapsody, Darren Thompson, Landon Impact, Leon Van Rensburg, The Handsome Dan, Joshua Sutherland, and Daisy Padme. Oh, David Robertson, Flying Amber, John Morgan, Royal Moon and Royal Promise for Greg Beckwith. Sierra Vista Raptor, Vinnie Gerard, Captain Jack. Oh, Graham Clutterbuck, Independence, Gaia for David Robertson, Hall of Fame and Hash Talking for Derek Hinson. First Battle, David Hooley and Warmonger, Joshua Sutherland. So 17 in this end. Start on a bend and away we go. Flying Amber. It looks like it's going to be... John Morgan front runner. Let's hope it gets further than the last one did, and they're all safely over the first. With flying number clear by three and setting the pace and setting a stiff one as well. They've got ten more fences to get over. And flying number is clearing the lead from Independence Guyer in second. Then comes Hash talking to the pink in third as they get to the second. And Independence Guy made a mistake there. It's just dropped right back through the field. As a result, that's left Gabriel's Rhapsody in second, with Hash talking Warmonger and Captain Jack next. Then San Pedro Tinker and Fuente Duomo as they take the third, and that time the horse in second made a mistake, and it was Gabriel's Rhapsody. So, looks like if you're in second, you've got to make a mistake. So, watch out, Warmonger, as they get to the next. And it's flying Amber in the lead from Warmonger and Gabriel's Rhapsody. Over it they go, and they're all over it okay this time, and the horse in second jumped it fine. So flying number then will lead them past the winning post, complete circuit ahead of them, leading by a good four to five lengths to Gabriel's Rhapsody in second, Hall of Fame is in third, then Warmonger on the inside is fourth. You can see those ones on the outside losing a bit of ground on that turn there. In particular, the Craig Beckwith horse lost quite a lot of ground, Royal Promise. The back marker at the moment is Questa Cut, but it's Flying Amber who leads then from Gabriel's Rhapsody in second. Hall of Fame is third and Warmonger is in fourth. Then comes First Battle and Captain Jack and Handsome Dan and then Fuente Domo and Hash Talking. Then Daisy Padme and San Pedro Tinker with Landon Impact and Independence Guy with Royal Promise and Sierra Vista Actor next. And then Royal Moon and finally Questa Cut as they head towards the next. Flying Amber then is a good four clear. Gabriel's Rhapsody in second. Good jump by the horse in third there. Hall of Fame in the pink jacket. Right up alongside Gabriel's Rhapsody in second. But Flying Amber is still clear. Flying Amber for John Morgan over the sixth. Most of them jumped in nicely with the exception of Sierra Vista Actor who's gone. So that's one of Vinnie Gerrard's out. The other one is wider on the track as they get over the seventh. And the mistake that time was by the handsome Dan. One who's tailing off his quest to cut in the red rum colour. So not really doing justice to the horn. The Horse, the race was named after running in his colours and being tailed off as they get to the eighth. And that time the leader made a bad mistake and has surrendered the lead. Independence Gaia has gone on. Handsome Dan, Warmonger, then landing impact is after that. Hash talking, San Pedro Tinker. Wide open race this one. Then as they head towards the final three furlongs and the final three fences, and it's landing impact who's going to come to the third last in the lead. Lands in front from the handsome Dan in second. San Pedro Tinker's gone. Fuente Domo's gone. And Flying Amber's gone as well. As they head down towards the second last, Landon Impact is in the lead. Landon Impact is too clear at the second last. Gets over in front from the handsome Dan in second. Independence Guy is in third, but the Landon Impact is clear at the moment. Does not lock stopping. Racing down towards the final fence. Looking like he's only got to jump it to give a win to Leon Van Rensburg. And it's Landon Impact who comes to this final fence then with a three length lead. Stood off it. Got over it well though. Independence Guy and handsome Dan fighting out for second. First battle running on, but too late. It's Landon Impact that takes it. Handsome Dan second, then Hall of Fame ran on well. Independence Guy Royal Moon all the way back to the disappointing quest that got who was the last one to finish. We ended up losing three at the same fence. They're pretty close to each other at some point, but Landon Impact has taken that one for Leon Van Rensburg. A pretty impressive win. Took it by a good four lengths or so. Uh, Landon Impact then for Leon Van Rensburg, the winner. The handsome Dan for Joshua Sutherland was second. Then Hall of Fame for Derek Hinton was third. Independence Guy for David Robertson was fourth. And first battle for David Hooley was fifth.